Okay, hi. It's that time of year. The time of year after Thanksgiving break, but before winter break, which is just this weird two and a half week period where every project and assignment and final exam that is ever going to happen in my life is practically happening in the span of like three days, which is like such a gift and a treat, I believe. I, okay, so listen. So, well, first of all, it's been a minute since I've posted. Isn't that funny? I think it's such a funny joke. I just have a lot to focus on with finals week being practically here. Why it's practically here. So I said, hey, I'll just take a chance on the YouTube for a minute. I'll have a lot of free time over winter break. I'll be posting a ton of videos then, probably, maybe. Actually, what if not? I don't know. Nothing's real. This is fake by the way. But also it's just as real as anything else could be and ever will be. You know what I mean? I cannot stick to just the point for one second. So I was planning on just finishing my finals and putting all my focus into my finals, but I, today, has been just a trip and a journey and a ride, and I just, I have to film myself to hold myself accountable. I am currently a political science major. That's right, you're looking at your future senator, your future representative, your future president. POTUS? Why, yes, that's me. That's all you can do with a political science major. You can either be a lawyer, president, or like, I don't know. You can, like, do ads for a TikTok shop. So one of the classes I'm taking as a political science major is international relations. And in my international relations class, I have had a project that has been assigned to me since September, truly, fully, madly, deeply, which has such a loose premise. It is such a loosely premised assignment. Basically, you just have to do a project on an international current event. It can be about anything you want. It can be anything you want. I hate projects like this. They're so, it's just, like, tell me what to do. Please tell me what to do, because, like, I'll do do what I want to do if you tell me to do what I want to do. Then don't come back at me and be like, and then, you know what I mean? I feel like I. Whatever. This project has been assigned to us since September. It is now technically November 30th. What time is it? 12.25 a.m. on November 30th. The project is due 11.59 p.m. November 30th. I'm laughing. Are you laughing? I'm laughing so hard at that fact. So you're looking at me through this video and you say, Xander, how could you? How could you let this go so long? Oh, by the way, I haven't started. I haven't started yet, by the way. I wrote a proposal that was due back in October, a one-page proposal, real simple, and now here I am, November 30th. You say to me, Xander, how dare you? I spit in your face, how dare you let this go so long? I... First of all, I know, I know myself. I know what I can do. I can do this. Oh, what am I doing? Question, question mark. Let me tell you. I'm gonna be doing a, like a mini documentary. I'm just like making a like, I don't know, however many minute long video about the international event that I plan on talking about. And it's just gonna be like a documentary about whatever I plan on talking about and whatever analysis I do on whatever I plan on talking about. And that's what I tend to do with a lot of these sort of loose projects where they're like, oh, you can write a paper, you can do slides, or you could do whatever you want. I had someone one year write a song. I think that's so fun. They wrote a song. Isn't that fun? I always tend to do like, oh, I'll make a video. I usually make a video. Sometimes I like do like a fun like poster or whatever, but I tend to do something where I can hide behind the facade of showmanship. Not to say that I don't have the information and the roots and the smarts and the genius to back it up and the information to back it up because you know I do. I absolutely do and I always do. But when projects have such loose guidelines and it just really, you have no idea what they're asking from you, I tend to lean into, I'm going to give them a serve uh, that is so like, serveful, that they cannot deny me that 100%, you know what I mean? Yes, it'll be full of information and the academics of it all, but like, if you can just like give them, like, wow, you really spent a lot of time on this, this is a really well-produced video, etc., you can kind of just like, assure that you're gonna get a good grade, because I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I don't have a rubric. I have maybe four sentences that say like, make a project about a current event, it can be whatever you want, do it. And I'm, I'm not sure how to do this, I'm not sure what they want for me to get a good grade, so I'm just gonna really go ham, as I usually do on projects like this, on like, the editing, the music, the the vibe, the like, the real, like, the showmanship of it all, and of course have the information to back it up, and the, you know, academics to back it up, and I think I'm gonna have like a, like a, like a real good product, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, no matter how good your project is, if it's like the flashiest, the shiniest, the funnest, the coolest of everyone else in the class, that's gonna stick in the brain. That's gonna, they're gonna be like, oh, that's an A++, because I was entertained. I will be vlogging the entire experience of me doing this project, not only to keep myself in check, because I know, hey, somebody's watching, you better be doing what you're supposed to be doing, but also just for fun. 
hey, just for fun, throughout this video, you will be seeing sort of the grueling process of trying to do a three month assignment in a day, in less than a day, from truly the start to turning it in. So let's focus, let's put our academic hat on. I like to picture my academic hat as sort of a top hat of sorts that is, you know, very professional. It has like a degree sticking out the side of it and I just kind of plop it on my head and I say, I'm about to do some reading and not the gay kind, honey. I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna read you down. I'm gonna read this book. Okay, this is like a, perhaps like a knife or a sword and <laughs> shut up, stop talking. Let me bundle up real quick. Okay, off to the library. Time to lock in. Come on, let's go. I've been telling myself for days, okay, that's a lie, weeks, that I'm gonna fix my sleep schedule because my sleep schedule is so inherently screwed up. It's just not, it's not normal, it's not human. And I've been telling myself, I'm gonna fix that sleep schedule, I need to fix that sleep schedule. But I'm not gonna lie, I love the night. It's so quiet and so nice. Morning people love to be like, you wake up and it, the world's still. But I'm like, if you wanna stay up past midnight, it's the same situation. I feel like such a, like a city person, like I'm in the city, going to my city job at the library to do my city project. Project. In the big city, the Big Apple. Oh, look at the moon. She's looking stunning tonight. Such clear HD resolution. She's looking good tonight. She's looking good tonight, fellas. I'm hoping and I'm praying that I can find a study room that is open. Because finding a study room during like final season is not an easy task. You're almost assuredly going to have to sign up for one online and like book one and reserve one. But all the study rooms at this point are already booked and reserved days and days and days in advance. And if you happen to find an open one, it will not even be 30 seconds before someone's pounding at the door saying, I have this reserved. I have this reserved. I have... Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I'm here. Well, I'm sitting here. What are you gonna do? Pull me off by my hands and my feet? No, but I, I leave politely because I'm a good person. It's all about compassion and your fellow man, to be honest. But that's another day, another story. Right now, I'm just a man walking to the library, hoping that it's late enough that there will be some study rooms that are just open. So fingers are crossed, fingers are crossed. Let's see just how much this universe, the universe around me, is helping me out today. Let's see just how much the universe is on my side. Let's see how quickly and how easily I find a study room. Huh? How about that? <laughs> how about you clock them apples? Oh God, am I crying? My eyes are, are so teary. Do you see that? Okay, whatever. I found a study room. It's on the fourth floor, way in the back, just to avoid annoying anyone. I don't want to be that person who's yapping in the library at 2 a.m. when people are trying to get their work done. Not during finals week, absolutely not. But look at this huge room I found. I feel like I'm about to give a big old meeting presentation about stocks and numbers and percentages right now. Goldman Sachs, who? Goldman Sachs, this room. This room is the New York Stock Exchange, is how I'd imagine it. Also, I forgot my AirPods, which literally nightmare situation. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. I'm hoping this room is soundproof enough that I can just lightly play the music out loud out of my computer because I'm not going to be able to do this without music. Oh my goodness. When I found out that I had forgot my AirPods, my heart sank, my world fell apart, but we're moving on with strength and on to prosperity, I'll tell you what. Okay, I, just, I can't I can't keep bluffing, I can't keep stalling, I really just gotta get to work on this. Hold on, wait, I, let me do a middle part real quick. I wanted to do a middle part like as my consistent hairstyle for a while. I think I've talked about it in a video before, but my hair was always too long and I just got a haircut, so I think, I don't know, is this the time? Is that crazy? Am I being so off the wall bananas doing this in this moment? Eh, whatever. I, not what I need to be focused on right now. I'm just gonna start working, put my nose to the grindstone, and I'll update you as time goes on. The time is currently 2.19 a.m. Now's the time to lock in, so, ugh. The project is due in 21 hours and 39 minutes. <sighs> Let's actually finally get to work. Okay, it is currently 5.17 a.m. and I have just finished the script for the documentary. I think I'm good to move on to the next stage of the project, which is actually making the documentary itself. I think I'm gonna have to leave this library space because not only is this room not very good for like audio when I'm recording the voiceover, but I think I need just like a little bit of a mental break before I really hunker down. Is that a word, hunker? Hunker down. Okay, it says it means to hide out or take shelter often for just a few hours or less as from a pursuer or a storm. 
Well, that's not what I'm doing, but it's essentially spiritually what I'm doing. Okay, God, I need, yeah, I just need to walk around. I think I'm gonna head back maybe to my apartment to record and work on this. This is around the time when establishments are opening up for maybe to get food, for maybe to get food and drink. So perhaps I want to frequent one of those establishments to get some work done. You know, just replenish the body. Um, yeah, so we're gonna take a bit of a mental break before we power through and hunker down on this project, on this assignment. I will say, I am not in the headspace right now where in which I'm regretting my actions. Yes, is it 521 and have I not fallen asleep? Yes. Is that objectively bad? Yes. But also, I'm kind of crushing it. I'm kind of crushing this thing. I'm the kind of person who has the academic history. Oh wow, my palm looks so dirty. I was erasing that whiteboard back there and I did it with my hand thinking I wouldn't face any repercussions. Clearly, that's not the case. Anyway, as I was saying, I am someone who has an academic history of doing big projects all at once. Unless I'm literally forced to by like, oh, you have to submit an outline at this date and then you have to submit a research log by this date and then you you have to submit slides by this date. Like, unless I'm forced to literally spread out. Oh, it got on my hoodie too. Oh. Anyway, anyway, unless I am forced to literally spread out the work over time, I will do it all at once. I don't care how big the project is. I think I'm someone who just likes to sit down and do it. You know what I mean? So far, when it comes to projects like this, I have been able to hunker down. Word slash phrase of the day, hunker down. And just get her done. And just get her done. Happy with the script. We're taking a break. Break. We're gonna go let our brain breathe. Feeling good. Feeling very, very good so far. What a gorgeous little brain break. That was lovely. And now here I am, back in my room, in my apartment. The time is currently 6.59 a.m. I do have class at 9.30 this morning, so in about two and a half hours, which is the class in which this project is due at 11.59 p.m. tonight. I do not expect to finish this before I go to class. Hey, I might, probably won't, but I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna use the phrase in the word of the day. I'm gonna hunker down and I'll check in at around nine o'clock, 9.15 when I'm headed to class, let you know where I'm at. Okay, okay. It is 9.16. My class starts in 14 minutes, so I'm heading to that. The project is coming along really well. It's taking a minute. It's really taking its time, but I have a solid two minutes of a documentary so far. So yeah, I'm gonna head to class, after which I will probably head to the library to, fingers crossed, finish this thing before noon? I don't know, fingers crossed, we'll see. And I will say, it's amazing. So far, oh, if I don't get 100% on this project, oh, 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 I'm headed to class. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Honey, it's coming. See that, the light through the windows? Perhaps maybe that's the light at the end of the tunnel. How about that? I must go, I, I'm really about to be late, so we'll check in at the library after class. It's 2.59 p.m. Oh my God, I'm exhausted. All I have left is the bibliography. Just gonna cite my sources and then I'm gonna submit this assignment. I am so, so ready for this to be over. Oh my God, what a night. Okay, let's just put the hood up actually. Okay, it's in there, ready to go. I just gotta hit submit assignment and... Ah! Yeah! Oh God. God. That took, to be honest, longer than I expected it to, but I submitted my project at 4.08 p.m., which is seven hours and 51 minutes before it's due, so I am completely and totally satisfied. I think it turned out really, really great. I'm expecting high marks, high, high marks. I would love to say that I'm gonna go to sleep now because I have not slept since yesterday morning? 
but I do actually have another project for another class due tomorrow and that's not a joke nor a lie. Don't worry, it's not like this where it's been assigned to me for three months, maybe two weeks, two and a half weeks. I'm gonna knock it out in 15 minutes and then I'm gonna knock out in terms of punch myself in the head and wake up maybe in a month or perhaps a month and a half. What a joyous video. If you enjoyed hanging out with me while I deprived myself of all of my basic needs, hey, feel free to subscribe. Hey, holiday season's coming up. I'm gonna have a lot of free time. Expect a lot of videos. Huh, honey, expect a lot of videos on this on this channel. <laughs> okay, I am gonna go do that other project now. Okay, all right, bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye, bye-bye.